Hello once again. This is Bill Hayhurst for TelQuest Tech Support and our continuing lessons on the IP Office Essential Edition Release 6.0. Today we'll be talking about remote programming. Remote programming isn't new, but it sure is helpful. For years, we all had to drive out to the customer site to make even the most simple change. Or we tried to have the customer make the changes on their own with our guidance. With remote programming, you have full access to the KSU as if you were sitting right in front of it with your computer. In order to use remote programming, it takes a certain amount of planning and preparation ahead of time. Here's the basic information that you need to know from the IT person or if you're capable of determining it yourself in order to set up remote programming. All right, now, once you have that information, you need to go over into the manager programming, click on system, then click on LAN 1 right here, and you're going to see the IP address and the IP mask, also known as the subnet mask. The values that you obtained earlier should go in these two areas, the IP address here and the IP mask, aka subnet mask, go here. The DNS information, you click on the DNS tab and you put it in here, the DNS IP address, and if you have a secondary or backup DNS server IP address, they go in here. The router information is not on this page, it's elsewhere. You actually have to create something for that. We do cover that in detail in our DVD on programming the IP Office Essential. I'll show you quickly though what's covered in the DVD, but not to the same deep level. We're going to go over here and click on IP route. Normally you'd only have one. You would right click and then click new to create one. When you do, what you want to do is put all zeros for the IP address, all zeros for the IP mask. The gateway IP address is that the gateway or the router address of your network and then the destination, you set that to be LAN 1. Okay, that does it for the KSU. It wasn't a whole lot, was it? What we're going to do next is show you how to access it from outside the building. All right, first what you're going to do is start your manager program as you normally would. Okay, then we're going to click on the icon for connection. That will come up in just a moment. It's going to discover any KSUs we have on the LAN, but we're not interested in LAN KSUs. We're interested in KSUs that are on the Internet. Over here, in the TCP discovery area, you're going to put in the public IP address of your KSU. We'll just pick one that's fictitious here. You'd enter that address, then you'd click Refresh. If everything is working properly, your KSU will pop up right in here. That completes today's lesson on remote programming. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy not having to drive out to the job every time you want to make a program change. This is Bill Hayhurst once again for TelQuest Tech Support.